Hey guys, Megan here, and today I am going to be doing the book buying tag. I will be linking the original video down below, so yeah, let's do this. Let's see, question one, where do you buy your books? I really try to buy my books at actual stores instead of online, but sometimes that cannot be helped. So when I buy books online, I usually go to Amazon or BarnesandNoble.com. When I go to actual stores, I just go to Barnes & Noble, which is like a 20-minute drive. Question two, do you ever pre-order, and if so, do you do it online or in-store? I used to do it in-store all the time when we had a Borders down in the center of town, but when that went out of business, I kind of stopped pre-ordering books because I had no way to get to Barnes & Noble because I couldn't drive and I didn't have a car. So... Yeah, it was very limited, and now I've recently been doing a lot of online pre-orders, though. If I'm in-store, I will try to do in-store pre-orders, just because I am trying to get away from online buying and do more stuff in person. Question number three is, on average, how many books do you buy a month? That varies drastically. <laughs> there are some months where I buy, like, none, and then there are months like in April when I buy 20 or more books. There is no in between. Either I buy none or I buy a lot. Question number four is do you use your local library? Yes. All the time. I go there at least once a week. Question number five is if so, how many books do you borrow at a time? And also part of that question I believe is how many books can you take out at a time? I believe we can take out um, 20 books at a time max. I'm not sure. I think it's around that. And <laughs> there are also times when I take out a lot of books. I believe some point last summer I actually had 20 books out at one time. And then there are times where I only have like 5 or so books out. So it, it varies a lot. Question number 6 is what do you think about library books? I love my local library. I go there a lot, so I apparently have no problem with library books. Question number seven is, how do you feel about secondhand bookstores? I think they are brilliant, especially as a poor college student. I recently just found out we have one in the next town over, so I'm, now that I know it's there, I'm going to be going there a lot. Question number eight is, do you keep your red and your TBR books separate? No. No, I, I don't have space for that kind of stuff. I have all my books on, like, one bookshelf and, like, a second bookshelf. Really tiny shelf. Because I'm running out of room on my big bookshelf. So, yeah, I don't have room for a separation of TBR and red books. Question 9 is, do you plan to read all the books that you own? Hell yeah! Question 10 is, what do you do with all the books that you own and feel like you will never read or that you do not like? For that, I... Go on Facebook and ask my friends if they want any of the books that I don't want or don't like. You know, do the titles, take a picture of the book, show what condition it's in, and just give a quick synopsis about what it's about. And if there are any left over after that, I either donate them to the library or Goodwill. Question 11 is, have you ever donated books? Oh yeah, all the time. Question 12 is, have you ever been on a book buying ban? Yep, right now actually. After buying 20 plus books last month, I I need to stop. I actually told one of my friends to smack me over the head if I buy any books before July or August. Question 13. Do you feel you buy too many books? My heart says no. But my wallet says yes. So, that's it for the book buying tag. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. And yeah, have a good one.